Good morning. Tomorrow is the day of Pentecost, the day we celebrate the presence and the power of God's Holy Spirit. So in honor of tomorrow, I offer to you this blessing for Pentecost Day. This is by Jan Richardson, and she entitles this, This Grace That Scorches Us. Here's one thing you must understand about this blessing. It is not for you alone. It is stubborn about this. Do not even try to lay hold of it if you are by yourself thinking you can carry it on your own. To bear this blessing, you must first take yourself to a place where everyone does not look like you or think like you. A place where they do not believe precisely as you believe, where their thoughts and ideas and gestures are not exact echoes of your own. Bring your sorrow, bring your grief, bring your fear, bring your weariness, your pain, your disgust at how broken this world is, how fractured, how fragmented by its fighting, its wars, its hungers, its penchant for power, its ceaseless repetition of the history it refuses to rise above. I will not tell you that this blessing will fix all that, but in the place where you have gathered, wait, watch, listen. Lay aside your inability to be surprised, your resistance to what you do not understand. See then whether this blessing turns to flame on your tongue, sets you to speaking what you cannot fathom or opens your ear to a language beyond your imagining that comes as a knowing in your bones, a clarity in your heart that tells you this is the reason we were made for this ache that finally opens us, for this struggle, this grace that scorches us toward one another and into the blazing day. As you go into this day, know that God is with you.